Hello, good afternoon. So today, I will be your reporter. I will just start to share my screen. Okay, so my report for today for our subject project development and management is the executing process group. My topics will be direct and manage project work, manage project knowledge, and the manage quality. I am Engineer Rosel G. Verdadero. I graduated civil engineer by the year 2016, and I am currently a college instructor here in NUSD College of Engineering. So, okay, I will start my report. Executing process group consists of those processes performed to complete the work defined in the project management plan to satisfy the project requirements. This process group involves coordinating resources, managing stakeholder engagement, and integrating and performing the activities of the project in accordance with the project management plan. The key benefits of this process group is that the work needed to meet the project requirements and objectives is performed according to plan. A large portion of the project budget, resources, and time is expended in performing the executing process group processes. The process in the executing process group may generate change requests. If approved, the change request may trigger one or more planning processes that result in a modified management plan, project documents, and possibility new baselines. The executing process group includes the project management process identified in section 4.1 through 4.10. So here is the table for the executing process group. The dashed circular arrow indicates that the process is part of the project integration management knowledge area. This knowledge area coordinates and unifies the processes from the other knowledge areas. Okay, next. So we have the direct and manage project work. Direct and manage project work is the process of leading and performing the work defined in the project management plan and implementing approved changes to achieve the project's objectives. The key benefit of this process is that it provides overall management of the project work and the deliverables, thus improving the probability of project success. This process is performed throughout the project. The inputs and the outputs of this process are depicted here in the figure. So for the inputs, we have number one, project management plan, Number two, project documents. Number three, approve change requests. Number four, enterprise environmental factors. And number five, organizational process assets. So for the outputs, we have number one, deliverables. Number two, work performance data. Number three, issue log. Number four, change request. Number five, project management plan updates. Number six, a project document updates. And number seven, organizational process assets updates. Okay. The needs of the project determine which components of the project management plan 
and which project documents are necessary. So for the project management plan components, any component of the project management plan may be an input for this process. So for the project document examples, examples of the project documents that may be inputs for this process include but are not limited to the following, which are change log, lessons learned register, milestone list, project communications, project schedule, requirements traceability matrix, risk register, and risk reports. For the project management updates, any component of the project management plan may be updated as a result of this process. For the project document updates, we have project documents that may be updated as a result of this process include but are not limited to activity list, assumption log, lessons learned, register, requirements documentation, risk register, and stakeholder register. So next is the managed project knowledge. Managed project knowledge is the process of using existing knowledge and creating new knowledge to achieve the project's objectives and contribute to the organizational learning. The key benefits of this process are that prior organizational knowledge is leveraged to produce or improved to produce or improved the project outcomes and that the knowledge created by the project is available to support organizational operations and future project or phases. This process is performed throughout the project. The inputs and outputs of this process are depicted here in the figure. So we have inputs and outputs. So for the inputs, it may include project management plan, project documents, deliver the deliverables, enterprise environmental factors, and organizational process assets. For the outputs, we have number one, lessons learned register, number two, project management plan updates, number three, organizational process assets updates. The needs of the project determine which components of the project management plan and which project documents are necessary. So for the project management components, all components of the project management plan may be inputs for this process. For the project documents, lesson, examples of project documents that may be inputs for this process include but are not limited to lessons learned register, project team assignments, resource breakdown structure, source selection criteria, and stakeholder register. For project management plan updates, any component of the project management plan may be updated as a result of this process. So the last topic for my report is the manage quality. Manage quality is the process of translating the quality, the quality management plan into executable quality activities that incorporate the organization's quality policy into the project. The key benefits of this process is that it increases the probability of meeting the quality objectives as well as identifying ineffective processes and causes of poor quality. This process is performed throughout the project. The inputs and outputs of these processes are shown here in the figure 4-4. For the inputs, we have number one, project management plan, number two, project documents, number three, organizational process assets. 
And for the outputs, we have number one, quality reports. Number two, test and evaluation documents. Number three, change requests. Number four, project management plan updates. And number five, project document updates. The need of the project determine which component of the project management plan and which project documents are necessary. So for project management plan components, an example of project management plan component that may be an input for this process include but is not limited to the quality management plan. For project document examples, examples of project documents that may be inputs for this process include but are not limited to lessons learned register, quality control measurements, quality metrics, and risk reports. For project management plan updates, Components of the project management plan that may be updated as a result of this process include but are not limited to quality management plan, scope baseline, schedule baseline, cost baseline. And for the project documents updates, project documents that may be Updated as a result of this process include but are not limited to issue log, lessons learned register, and risk register. So that is my report. Thank you very much for listening. Again, I am Engineer Rosel G. Verdadero.